Hydropower is very important. There are many installations throughout the world and most of them operate with water at very high pressure, perhaps coming down a mountain. If you think of rivers where the difference between upstream and downstream might be very low, then you cannot use hydro turbines efficiently. Now there's a, a huge resource throughout the world of water power at these low pressures, but we can't use it. Um, at least we couldn't use it until um, SMEC came along. SMEC is a passive hydraulic machine that takes the energy from large flows of water at low pressure and gives it to smaller flows of water but at a higher pressure. By converting the low to the high pressure we can actually make use of the energy efficiently. The working part of SMEC, the, the novel and unique part of SMEC, is, is actually completely passive. The water goes through various carefully designed channels and all the energy transfer happens with no moving mechanical parts at all. Before making the first prototype, which has to go into the field, has to really generate electricity efficiently, we wish to do some more improvements to get the efficiency up further. Uh, and hence, uh, we're here at BHR doing our phase two testing program. So the SMEC machine actually takes water down this rectangular duct and into the main section of SMEC, which is there, and off to the sink tank at the end. So the main flow coming down this channel is travelling at about half a tonne of water per second in this particular model. And here we've got a valve to represent the turbine. So we can instrument the valve and we can measure the power that a turbine would generate if it were in position. The Venturi pump works on the principle set out by Daniel Bernoulli in the 18th century, which states that as a fluid enters a contraction, it accelerates. And when a fluid accelerates, the pressure drops. SMEC can be scaled to work in small rivers, but it can also be increased to stretch large estuaries, such as the Severn Estuary, the Mersey and the Solway. Not only can SMEC provide clean, reliable and cost-effective energy, but this energy can also be generated locally and the device can be installed easily into local rivers that can be benefit for the whole of the community. Birdeg's motto is to create a technology that is not only reliable and efficient but also environmentally sustainable. We actively research to ensure that our technology does not have harmful effects on the local environment. SMEC is fully porous and this enables the flow to pass through which creates only a minor attenuation on the natural upstream and downstream conditions. This enables us to preserve the existing hydrodynamic and sedimentary regime, which in turn minimises SMEC's impact on local terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. This also includes protected habitats such as bird migratory habitats or estuary wetlands. The world is hungry for cheap energy and the world needs clean, reliable, renewable energy. And I believe our technology ticks all those boxes. Features like uh, robust and flexible engineering with almost no moving parts, uh, low capital cost, predictable load factors, uh, use of, of, of conventional materials, uh, all translate into projects with exciting internal rate of return. SMEC's simplicity will enable local investment in the projects themselves. will probably create a virtuous uh, economic cycle in the local community. Verd is a word root in most European languages for green and erg is the European unit of energy. So Verd erg literally means green energy in English, French, German, Spanish, Italian and so on. Well, we were able to take um, the company into our own hands in 2005 when we did a management buyout and uh, at that time we wanted to re-commit uh, it 
to lowering the carbon footprint of the energy industries and our first um, task was to develop uh, renewable energy technology uh, for the marine environment based on what we'd learned over 30 years working around the world and in particular in the Atlantic west of Shetlands which is some of the worst uh, weather in the world and we knew to prioritise robustness and reliability but we looked a little deeper than that and it was clear that there were three criteria we had to meet. Uh, we had to produce industrial scale electricity for it to be of any value uh, globally. It's got to be a large scale device. Uh, we had to keep the cost of the electricity potentially to the point where it could compete directly with fossil fuels without a tax incentive. And um, thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, it had to have a benign environmental footprint. Uh, there's no point in having a renewable energy device that causes uh, as many environmental problems as it solves. So here we have an embryonic technology that can compete directly with fossil fuel, that has no electrical uh, equipment underwater at all. It, it's, uh, it, it's inherently robust and reliable. You can make it locally out of whatever the local industry is capable of, um, uh, of, of working best in concrete steel, reinforced uh, glass fibre, or um, any sort of material, aluminium, stainless steel, what, whatever it's convenient to use. And it ticks all the boxes. And the, the message that we're trying to get out is that there's this um, inbuilt belief, um, and I'm afraid uh, in, in Britain we're particularly bad at it, I, I confess to it as well, of believing that there's no gain without pain and people are prepared to accept without question that moving from fossil fuels to renewable energy is going to cost us money and my message is that is not true it just isn't true if you design the thing properly and you design it for cost effectiveness and low environmental impact you really can have it all and that is what we're bringing to the market <music>